I, I tell you what, it's so stunning that even the background was shocked into blackness there. <laughs> Welcome to the Chelsea Football Fancast, fueled by Guinness, powered by Celery, the show that has been foiled again. Oh, oh yes. Well, come on, it had to be that, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, true. Anyway, I'm Stanford Chidge, and the name of tonight's show is, running along that theme, the Chelsea Football Fancast, Foisonous. <laughs> Jonathan's already got it. I'm glad to see that. Now, the little horse took a bit of a tumble this weekend as we lost 1-0 to the villains, making the title challenge squeaky, to say the least. But the real villain of the piece was one Christopher Foy, scouser, former policeman and full-time Chelsea hater, uh, who his criminally incompetent decisions surely changed the match to Villa's benefit. He's now sent off six Chelsea players and one manager in his last eight games. A fit-up? Surely there should be a steward's inquiry. And we will be talking about that later, I am sure. But before I do, we have... Jonathan Kidd. We're too close again, Chidge. We're too close. I know we are, but we're not going to do a tactical switch tonight. You're no, there. We're not. You're there. there for the duration. Okay, I'll, I'll try and restrain myself. But are you well? I'm very well, thank you. Good thank to you. see. Thank you. We have Pablo. Hello, you all right? I'm all right, mate. Yeah, you, you good? Yeah, yeah, all yeah. good, all good. You sounded a bit grumpy before the show. Is that because we lost? Yeah, I mean, I'm not really sure how much I want to talk about football this week. No. Well, you know us. We always try not on. to talk yeah. about football. You know, we, we have a we have let's, a plan. Let's talk about the Ukraine. Yeah, why not? <laughs> That'd be good. What about that missing plane? Yeah, what about that as yeah, well? I blame Chris Foy myself. Yeah, I think, yeah. See, there you go. Sent we go straight off. back to football. We just Clever. can't help it. Clever. Now, there's a lovely, lovely, lovely bloke on my left-hand side. Uh, he is our special guest tonight. He's, of course, former Chelsea player Paul Cannaval. His fourth time on the show. Uh, the first since we've been on TV. Now, we're going to be talking to Paul later on about his Q&A event uh, with Pat Nevin, Kerry Dixon, Mickey Thomas, and Big Doug Ruby. Don't do the song. And also, <laughs> hopefully, about the famous 83-84 season when Chelsea, of course, won the old Division 2 to get back into Division 1. But, Paul, it is so nice to have you back. I think round of applause for Cameron. Come on. And he's wearing a seriously good track hat. <laughs> Right, um, How are you, fella? Good evening. Um, it's great to be back, obviously. Um, yeah, we'll take the weekend and coming to the end of the season, it's going to be tight, but yeah, I expected that. Do you like bits? What do you think about the new TV? I really do. It's I'm been giving me hot, my hot cup of tea. Well, I hope, yeah, yeah, that isn't tea, Pablo. I, I told you about that. <laughs> nah, it's really good. But it's looking good. Boys are here, so yeah. yeah it's well, good. well, I, well I can't wait. We're going to get you involved talking about the game. We're going to have, have a nice fun. chat with you about... Uh, the boys from 83-84 later on. Now, of Good. course, we also have uh, our lovely, lovely, beautifully formed benches this week. Can we have a look at the benches? Darren, how are you? Mr. Chidge, I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm all the better for seeing you. Now, I'm going to do the guided tour because I've had time to know who's I on. know who everyone is. Well, I'm going to do the first one. <laughs> come on. Otherwise, I'll... I'll have to come over there and punch you. Is that fair enough? <laughs> right, so... I'll, well, do Daniel the... Wilson, <laughs> all right. I'll do the first one. No, I've look. Got... We've got royalty on the bench this week. And no, I'm not talking about Darren Mantle. I am talking about the very special Tom Deacon, who many of you will know as the Eurofan. Now, he's actually here tonight with uh, his film crew. They're kind of filming us doing what we do. And we're also going to get Tom onto the table later on, and he's going to talk about the Galatasaray match. I know I promised not to do that gag, didn't I, Tom? It was very funny. I enjoyed it, though. Yeah, I know. It was, it was probably even worse the second time around, really, wasn't it? Tom, Willie, welcome to the Chelsea Fancast, mate. Good to see oh, you. It's beautiful to be amongst the boys, the proper Chelsea boys. So, uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it. This is nice. It's lovely stuff. Now, uh, Darren uh, has peculiar habits, but we've kind of told him to behave tonight, so hopefully you'll be safe, all right? Yeah, yeah. You can, you can hear me, he's mic'd up. Is that all right? You can, you can, you're good. All right, Probably. okay. Good stuff. Well, Darren, only okay. in that position, though. Darren. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Darren, like, would you like to introduce the rest of the I would matches? love to, Chidge. Right, so I've got Tom Deacon here on my left. I've got Daniel Klassen here on the right. Now, hang on, I've got an intro for, da for Daniel. Is he's it a, something yeah, Rush related? It is. He's a new right, I've got man. Andy Silverman he's a new over here. Man. He's a digital man, he's an analogue kid, <laughs> he's a mean, mean warrior with mean, mean pride. He's today's Tom Sawyer and he is Daniel Classen. Cool, How's man. that? Thank you very much. I thought you'd like that. <laughs> Let's move on, Darren. What's the reference? I was going to say, even, even Jonathan doesn't get it. You know <laughs> it's not, strange and absurd. It, it, yeah. <laughs> Shut up. Get on with it. Andy Silverman, Dan Silver, yeah. Rami. Michael and Warren from Australia. And, and, yeah, I know. So we've got Australians, Canadians, and, and, and Americans on, on the benches tonight. That, that like, sounds like it's a cue for a joke. But, but it's, it's truly global. It is global. global. We are global. Now, look, you lot out there, if you want to join these fabulous people, by the way, we, we've um, uh, equaled our record capacity two weeks running. 
uh, which I think is fabulous. But if you want to be on the benches, all you have to do is send me an email uh, to chelseafancast at gmail.com and uh, we'll get you on. We never say no, as these boys will testify to. You realise yeah. when Chadder isn't here, everyone comes on, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I'm wondering that. Yeah, Chadder, um, well, I, I mean, what can I say? I think maybe the, the, the writing is on the wall. Uh, anyway, uh, if you want to get hold of us uh, on Twitter and Mixler, Darren deals with all of that. Uh, tweet us at Chelsea Fancast. And of course, if you're listening in glorious stereo down the bean can sound of Mixler, then you need to be at mixler.com forward slash Chelsea hyphen fancast. But get onto the, the Mixler chat page and you can talk to Darren and get through to us. So there we go. So loads and loads on the show tonight. I tell you, we need three hours, not two tonight. But of course, we will be asking, uh, has Foy ended our title hopes? Uh, should Eto be our first choice striker? And will Jose be building a fortress mentality for the title run-in? Uh, we'll be awarding our man of the match, chant of the match, celery and Guinness moments in the fannies. You've now got... 25 minutes to get your votes in for that. Go to the website chelseafancast.com forward slash the hyphen fannies for that. And of course, as I said, tweet in or post in on Mixler to tell us what you think about everything, including the missing plane and the crisis in the Ukraine. But we have something far more important to address than even that stuff. Oh, yes, we've got the match against Villa to talk about right after this. There we go. No Mr. Ons this week either. It's all going swimmingly. Right, we've got about five minutes to get into this. And I tell you what, if we don't have enough time, I will, in fact, extend this into part two. Because it was, I mean, you know, two words, the polite version, Chris Foy. Okay. <laughs> Where is he? There he goes. Now, I've got to say first up that that is a rather dodgy salute he's giving there, possibly. <laughs> I, think, I think he's mean, you know, I think he set the tone with that, didn't he, Jonathan? What do you reckon? I think he's going, ooh, you're off. I got told off for doing that. Sorry, I know, yeah, I told Jonathan you off told for doing you off, that. Yeah. yeah, I told yeah, him yeah, off. Yeah, you know, told me off. You hypocrite. I know, I know I'm completely... Anyway, I mean, the fact of the matter is, I mean, it's just remarkable how many red cards he sent off. I mean, obviously, uh, the first one I want to discuss is the William one which was clearly not a red card. I mean, if anybody in this building says that that was a red card, they will get punched in the face. I think hardly touched him. I don't even think it was much contact. Didn't, no, I, I don't see how there was a foul in the second one. It was just simple shoulder to shoulder, not even at that, that great pace and not even... Do you know, do you know what like... Fabian Delph had the temerity to say about that? He said something like, well, he's only weighs three stones, so he goes down rather easily. <laughs> he actually really said that. I just got the impression that Foy was actually seeing that it would happen and making a decision before he, he had his red him. card he was almost out you thought yeah, well, he's going to foul him he was running team. after now him. canners i mean you play professional football how much would fabian delf have been laughed out of a football ground by his fellow players in your day had he gone down right, that right. easily um, that would have been too light back in the day he was known to I'd take a few kicks and in, but it's night like today's games. It's like you can't do a feather touch. You know, I mean, it was really embarrassing, cautious. don't you think? It was. I'm um, for a second, of, but no, not an appeal. I'm sorry. But I even the Ramirez it. wouldn't have been a wouldn't well, have been a foul in, in your definitely day, not. would it? Well, no, <laughs> no. I mean, you know, we're going to actually we talk about the Ramirez one now. Actually, I know. I, I don't think we have the. So we, there, there's the aftermath. I mean, actually, the bloke there, El Hamidi, he looks perfectly all right. All, well, this, and he all this nonsense well, about no, it being he, a leg break. No, he, he said afterwards, oh, it felt like a strong tackle, but I didn't know what yeah. he'd done. The problem was, I mean, it was quite clear on replay that that was a red card tackle. Oh, it was, and that, 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 that can't be argued with, but... Like so many other decisions in the game, it was the process behind everything where Foy got it completely wrong. He gave a yeah, throw, he, he, he gave a throw, he gave a throw. The villa he seems to do that every single time, and any, yeah. any time either the crowd or any of the players came up to him and said something, he changed his decision. Which, Particularly the goal, Matic's goal, he'd given, a, he'd given the goal. He, he, he was appalling, I mean, he, he really was. Uh, but I have to say, you know, that was a definite red card, Paul. It was a definite red card. In your day, you would have got a slap on the back, but Probably not, not now, right? Yeah. Slap on the back. I mean, I, the I had the misfortune of being on Talk Sport on Saturday night, and they were Alvin. Martin was going potty about it, and I actually didn't quite defend uh, Ramirez, but I said it wasn't malicious, there was no intent. Do you well, think there was intent the studs, there? It, don't get me wrong, it looks intent, and showing the studs, obviously, the, the rules of the days, it was a definitely bad foul. But seeing that, Ramirez probably saw him coming in, would have held back, but because initially he'd gone in with his studs, it looks worse. Than no, I think he was wound up. That was the yeah. impression I got. I think they were all wound up by then because the last well, 20, 20 minutes was well, ridiculous. They couldn't yeah, get. Well, they weren't that. getting any decisions. They'd had bad decisions early on. They yeah. had the goal disallowed, and they get a ludicrous 
sending off decision. And today's mm -hmm. it's almost going back into the kind of um, thing that we inherited from Mourinho first time, which was when everything started going wrong, we react with this glorious indiscipline where... I kind of like the chaos, yeah, I, I love it. It makes me laugh. There's a passion involved, isn't there? The I, I, I love it. Now, now look, talking about chaos, because we're going to go to the break, we need to speak to our lovely people on the benches. What, what do you... I mean, you know, how many words can you describe Chris Foy in that are actually broadcastable? Um, not many. Someone was saying you should have gone for a different headline. Sorry, I was just trying to adjust my mic and you've caught me off guard. Um, <laughs> they were saying... Be, be prepared, like a good boy. What did they say should have been called? Oh, God, this isn't making good TV, is it? Yeah, someone someone there. No, no, they no, gave no. a better caption than you, but I can't find where it was now. Wait, for, wait. Come in. Come on, that, Tom. Come yeah. in for a second. Rescue him, Tom. Yeah, no, no, it's fine. Um, I, I thought it, was, uh, it wasn't a send enough, the uh, William one, but there we go. No, no, we, we all agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. Blowing, blowing his ear as, as a new Chelsea fan, obviously, uh, if you don't know, I'm a, I'm a Chelsea fan for tonight and tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> I couldn't agree more with you, lads, and I don't want to disappoint all of you. That's what I like to you. say. <laughs> Tom is a very sensible young man. He knows how it works. He's got a good um, He's got a fan. Deo Adebowale says, well, love Tom and Copa 90. Well, there we go. Go. He's um, we've spread the love, ratings, Darren. I think, in one ear. Um, someone said the title should just been foiled, which I think is pretty uh -huh. better than you. Hey, <laughs> listen, I do the titles, all right? That's how it works. We all know that, anyway. Chris Dem says the first yellow was harsh, second was ridiculous. Um, yeah, that William one. I mean, that wasn't. Darren, it's the wrong game, way round. It's the wrong way round, Darren. Darren, it's, it's all right. right. <laughs> it's all right. We can rescue <laughs> him, Jonathan. We can rescue him. So we're going to a break. Oh, okay. We're not okay. After that okay. Break. okay. As I promised you this, we are going to go back to this whole foy and the red card stuff because we haven't finished talking about it yet. We're going to a break. See you in a sec. <laughs> 